Advertising is a key component of the marketing mix, but uh, what a lot of small business owners do is they make the mistake of copying what they see on television and they think that that's good advertising. Unfortunately, a lot of the advertising on television is not designed to sell anything, it's designed to brand you, create awareness, and basically get your name out there. Uh, small business owners don't have the money or the budget to focus on things like that. They need to use direct response advertising, which is the type of advertising that uh, you know, causes the reader or the viewer to do something to act now. So, uh, kind of, I just want to start by asking, what are your top three bestsellers? Top three bestsellers of your smoothies? Okay, number one's uh, bestsellers before sunrise, then four berry, and then the third one, I have fun. I want to say strawberry twister. Strawberry twister? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what are the most popular times of the day, um, business one? In the summertime, when the weather was a little warm in the afternoon, I'd say between probably one and four in the afternoon. Okay. Was there a busy time? In the summer. Now, yeah, in the summer. But now that the weather's changed a little bit, and I find that the busiest time is first thing in the morning. First thing. In the morning. Yeah, I'd say between eight in the morning and uh, and that would say eight to eleven. Eight to eleven. Yeah. Okay. Got the hot drinks in the morning. That's hot why drinks. I do the cooler weather. Hot drinks. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what would you say uh, in those times of day are the uh, most common age groups that you would find? Yeah, I'd say the morning would be the yeah. I'd say between uh, the age probably 25 and 30, and then in the afternoon probably more between the age of 18 and uh -huh. 25. Yeah. Okay. Well, the team seemed to be on the right track. They really had a. Um, a really good plan and they seem to be identifying uh, the benefits for Euphoria's customers and really seeing it from the customer's point of view which is which is really key when you're going into advertising and, and producing an ad. Do you do any, for example, any specials as in uh, do you get like one, um, you buy one and get one free, you get one, you buy one and get one 50% off by any price to anybody? We have a VIP card right now that start that, that just got started. They had one time we buy ten smoothie at the eleventh free, but I guess they ran into some problems with that. So what they did is they came up with a VIP card. There's no cost for the VIP card. I was a little surprised uh, when they went into the interview with the owner. The the questions they were asking didn't really match. Didn't so much match what what the plan they had was. So I'm interested to see how what the difference was there and why they asked those certain questions and. And, and why they kind of went away from their plan at first. Which smoothies uh, have the best uh, colors? Uh, like, or what can you say about the colors of the smoothies? Uh, do they have like a good vibe or an energy that attracts customers? Unbelievable the compliments we get with the colors. Oh, okay. This is so unique. This is what, what are, uh, maybe some of the like vibrant colors that really work. Or? Well, these are the colors that they, that like purple. Like the purple and green. Is, uh, well, yeah, the green and purple. It's just it's, smooth, it's uh, soothing mm -hmm, yes. and it's. Curious, yes, people are curious. Yes, what's yes. in there? You know, yeah, yeah. You come around on a drive, you take a look and you can see the green, you're oh, what's in there? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's funky, so people like funky things. People like funky people. Yeah. <laughs> right, funky, because everybody likes funky people. Um, wait, um, what, what would you think about uh, a menu that, uh, guided people throughout the day like say oh I come in in the morning okay well you know I do want something that helps me through, get through the morning you know like do you think a menu like that like if it shows like maybe a break and then a lunch and then maybe a boost in between those two times and then dinner or post workout or something like that do you think something like that would like how do you think that would uh... Um, I don't think that people are coming in three times a day. Not to, you know, I don't think you're, yeah, I mean, you're talking about someone coming in for breakfast. Uh, just so, or, or, or someone just wanted to come in and say, I didn't have breakfast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, when well, you're telling me definitely, we, we provide something called a breakfast smoothie. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and so it's, it's got hardiness in it. It's, it's got this granola. There's everything you need to get through the morning, no problem. So, and if somebody just came in at, uh, like, uh, like two o'clock yeah. or something, and they said, well, I just need something for now. If you had... Uh, like a menu that kind of like said, no, good morning, uh, lunch, uh, dinner. Like, do you think people would, you know, really appreciate it? I never thought about something like that. Yeah. That might be something different to do. Well, so definitely okay. Yeah. Well, you, you feel positive about that? Yeah, I feel yeah. positive about that. Yeah, well, yeah. that's yeah.
just came back from PM Media. We found out that we didn't really have a lot of graphics, but uh, we didn't have a lot with them. It's a good thing I asked him if he had a scanner, and uh, we took his pamphlet and scanned it across, and we were able to get uh, a lot of our uh, deco and all that kind of. I think they'll be impressed because it's not going to be our ideas. Basically. Yeah, everything's got the camera that we uh, got them to scan and use. So if the other team ends up using pictures from the scan, that's ours. We can get credit for that. Will be our and idea. they should have to pay us some sort of royalty. Well, we're looking at the ads. Um, I really like this one. I like, uh, like the layout. And I like a lot of key, key, key wording here new and free. Um, I like the layout, the colors. Uh, Attractive, it's, it's to the point. Of course, with this one, this one's more in a land background, white, which is team. Uh, That's a uh, future vision. Future vision. This one here, just like I said, man, it's it's too light, man. There's just not enough context on it, and uh, it just doesn't. It's not appealing. We're on the opposite. Because it is appealing, but it's also very cluttered. You have words that are too small, and they took the green off the dark background, which is hard to read. They yeah. have spelling mistakes, which they should have proofed and looked at more. On, the, on Future Vision, of course, it's white, yeah. but white is very professional. It stands out if you... Because I would take the time, I would look at this one first, but I'd take the time to read that one because it, it looks more appealing to me. Yeah, you're right. It is appealing. You know, I mean, it is clean. It's clean. As opposed to this, it is cluttered. But this says more important factors, more important wording on this. Yeah. You know, new, free. I mean, we got a VIP club. Yeah. Nothing's mentioned on this one. Actually, reading on. Oh, you have to your points. Oh, yeah. Redeem your points. So they did actually mention it, but it doesn't it's stand out yeah. for the customers yeah. to actually pick up on because they could go in and they won't even realize that there's a reward card. Yeah. I think that both Sean and I did a good job. Um, he was a product manager, so that was um, quite interesting. Um, we both came up with some ideas, although um, I feel like I had some more bump um, into it. Um, I wish we had a little bit more time in the... Uh, uh, the design room, uh, but uh, you know that's the way things are. We would have liked to have probably been more specific with a few details um, and just maybe make it a bit more presentational. But for the most part, we're really uh, pleased with how uh, things came together, and uh, we look forward to hearing the uh, critique and results. Okay, guys, so we're ready to find out the results. Uh, Bob, Jonathan, how did the teams do? Well, looking at this ad, it is very appealing. It is eye catching right away. But if you look at it, kind of cluttered, too much stuff, a couple of mistakes and tripping, it's not going to pop. This one is uh, it's a nice ad. It's, uh, it's quite a little bling with a white background. Uh, we are working with exotic fruits and all everything else like that. So, with color, a little bit more color in the background would be nice. Um, VIP was not mentioned on here, but it did say a reward card, but VIP is so crucial, and, it, and on this ad over here it says new and free, so it's like in a new uh, Euphoria VIP club, which as soon as you hear VIP club, it's like, oh wow, what's that all about? Let's read on about it and see what it's all about. It's just not to the point. That's more attractive, a little bit more uh, to the point. You would want me to go into, into Euphoria and find out more about this VIP club. But in saying that, Future Vision uh, is very good one. It is nice. If I had to, I would be sure to get it right away. But I would spend time with that one. Okay. So, do we have a clear winner then as far as... Uh... Yeah, the clear winner is going to be uh, this ad right here. Okay. That is the Northern Gateway. Oh, I'm sorry. Future Vision. I, I, I support. I support. No, yeah, original, no, no, no original members left. All imports. That's correct. Okay. Future Vision Inc. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. Rose. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Okay. Congratulations. And uh, Northern Gateway Inc., unfortunately, you'll meet me in the boardroom tomorrow where somebody will be fired.